Good morning and welcome to Frederick at its best. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner and today we are here to celebrate the contributions and service of our correctional officers and our corrections employees with the Frederick County Sheriff's Office who serve at our Adult Detention Center and our Work Release Center. Corrections professionals know all too well the risks and challenges associated with the work they do. And a lot of the work that they do is sight unseen and not easily understood by the general public. The thousands of men and women working in corrections, in administration, security, or health care, in the federal system, the state system, or in a local facility such as the Frederick County Adult Detention Center are owed a tremendous debt of gratitude. Corrections professionals put their health, safety, and lives on the line every day to maintain public safety, to reform and rehabilitate our offenders, and to perform many other duties. Our highly devoted corrections personnel do more than guard offenders. They treat, counsel, train, teach, and rebuild lives. They give people hope. They serve duti dutifully, honorably, and with distinction. They must be constantly vigilant. The position is physically and emotionally demanding. Correctional officers can have an amazing influence on the lives of others. They can help shape the future of people who come through their doors at the detention center. They encourage them to develop skills and an appropriate attitude that will help them to be productive members of society when they are released. People who want to become correctional officers must pass rigorous requirements prior to being hired. When applying to become an officer, an applicant moves on only after passing each portion of the hiring process. The application uh, applicant must complete an agility course. The applicant's background is certainly heavily scrutinized. Authorities look at personal information, including driving records, credit history, military records. The applicant must take a polygraph and drug tests, a psychological exam, and submit to a physical. While the job title may be correctional officer, the position includes more than just policing the detention center. Officers steer inmates around the facility, and they take them to court appearances. They offer counseling and mentoring to the facility's occupants, and they also have to search for illegal contraband. They also observe inmates in part to protect them and to deter any kinds of disturbances or escapes. They are public servants in a very challenging but rewarding profession. So I'd like to take a minute to read a proclamation, and then we'll have those who are with me say a few words. Whereas no group of Americans has a more difficult or less publicly visible job than the brave men and women who work in our correctional facilities. Correctional officers who work in jails and prisons are currently responsible for the safety, containment, and control of prisoners. Correctional officers must protect inmates from violence from fellow prisoners while encouraging them to develop good skills and attitudes that can help them become productive members of society upon their release. And whereas the general public should fully appreciate correctional officers' capable handling of the physical and emotional demands made upon them each day. Their profession requires careful and constant vigilance, and the threat of violence is always present. At the same time, these dedicated employees try to improve the living conditions of those who are being confined. And whereas it is appropriate that we honor the correctional officers and the employees in corrections at the Frederick County Detention Center and in all our institutions at all levels of government, for the invaluable contributions they make to our communities. Now, therefore, as the County Executive of Frederick County, Maryland, I hereby proclaim the week of May 7th, 7th through 13th, 2017, as National Correction Officers and Employees Week in Frederick County and commend uh, this observance to all of our citizens. And I'd like to pass the microphone first to our Sheriff, Chuck Jenkins. Okay, Jan, or, uh, Jan, thank you again for, or Commissioner Gardner, I'm sorry, County Executive Gardner, for uh, taking a few minutes today to, to acknowledge and uh, recognize correctional officers in this county. Uh, they do a great job in their detention center, and they do largely go unnoticed. Uh, what they do is a vital component of the criminal justice system. Just the public doesn't see it, the public doesn't recognize that, but uh, they certainly have the same level of dedication and commitment as law enforcement on the street. So I want to salute them and thank them for what they do every day. It's an absolutely can be a great career. People come into this field in corrections with the same set of hiring standards as law enforcement. Many of them move on to law enforcement. Some choose corrections as a career. It can be a great career, but it can be a dangerous career. So again, thank you for the recognition.
Oh, you don't want to say anything. Captain Joe Crisp, Security Division. Lieutenant Jennifer Swope, Security Division. Captain Tim Seelan, Administrative Division. Lori Frazee, Inmate Services Division. Captain Steve Snow, Director of Security. Lieutenant Colonel Victor Lauder, Corrections Bureau Chief. Major Mike Cronice, Assistant Corrections Bureau Chief. Lieutenant Charles Clark, Fiscal Services Commander. Lieutenant Robert Mullen, Commander of Accreditation. Sergeant Dwayne Law, Disciplinary Compliance Supervisor. Lieutenant Alan Morrison, Work Release Commander. Melinda Grenier, Assistant Director, Community Services Division. Lieutenant Steve Jamison, Commander of Support Services. Okay. Thank you all for joining uh, me today for this uh, uh, recognition and proclamation. I do think your job in corrections is very important. I have been the detention center and the work release center, which is a very different environment from the detention center. And I, when the doors clang behind you, it really is a different kind of environment. And most people in our community don't get to experience that, which is probably a good thing. But, because we don't really want most of the community to be coming through the detention center. But I, I think the job is very hard. And there's a lot of uh, issues that people don't even anticipate. Health issues, the mental health issues, people recovering from drug addiction. All of those things make the job increasingly difficult. As a county executive working with the sheriff and your uh, leadership in corrections, we are looking to try to expand the medical facilities uh, over the next few years because we know that's very much needed. And we want to make sure that we can take care of people and really help give them a new lease on life when they depart the correction center. So thank you for what you do. I, I do appreciate it. It's a tough job. I could not do a job in corrections or in law enforcement. I would really find it to be very challenging and very difficult. So thank you for what you do to keep our community safe. So to those of you who are viewing this, thank you for joining us for Frederick at its best. On behalf of the citizens of Frederick County, please join me in thanking all of our corrections officers and the employees in the Detault Detention Center and in work release for their service and dedication to the citizens of Frederick County. Thank you for joining us.